Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and at CES here in Vegas, we have an Indian company called Shifu. They have some interactive toys for kids that help them learn as well. And uh, they're quickly going to run us through some of the products they have out here. So the first products we have here are Globes. So can you tell me a little bit more about what we're seeing here? Sure. So we have three family of products. One is Orboot, which is a family of Globes. You know, interchangeable Globes, there's an Earth. There's a dinosaur, which is prehistoric. Earth, how Earth looked like millions of years ago. And then there's Mars. Uh, which is about exploring this planet, knowing about what human beings know, okay. uh, what are the missions and the rovers that have gone here, okay. which country did it, what, what, what this rover learned about Mars, the valleys and the mountains in Mars, okay. or you could go to prehistoric Earth and see all the dinosaurs out there. Uh, here I am learning about these dinosaurs and I know what this dinosaur is called, what does it eat, what does it do, how does it move around. I know more about this. Kids are really passionate about dinosaurs, about space, about Mars, and we help them understand that a little more. Yeah, uh, and, and as we're seeing right now, this is actually an audio cue on how to pronounce the name of the exactly. dinosaur because some of them are really complex. Really, yeah. All so of them are really complex, actually. So these are the new ones that you've said you've announced, but there are other globes available which... Uh, yeah, that's yeah. Earth, that's available already in India as well as in the US, which you can... You know, uh, buy on Hamlet, Toys R Us, Amazon, and enjoy. Okay. So the third globe, which is about the planet Earth, what information does that give you? It it gives you information about monuments. It's like a mini travel around the Earth. When you go to a place, you experience the culture, the cuisine, the monuments, the animals. An encyclopedia, essentially, of Earth. Absolute. Okay. It's been a massive hit all over the world. Okay. Now this is board games redefined. Uh, yeah. How it works is, you know, uh, you can go to <laughs> you have multiple games out here. Okay. One of them is about chemistry. Okay. The other one was about laser and jungle. Okay. Or jungle discovery. Okay. Here you need to create sodium oxide, which is. So that little hint tells you what you have to actually use, which is Na2, uh, two molecules of. Well, I'm really bad at chemistry. So. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. okay. so so let's try lasers, which essentially is a lot like uh, the Nintendo's Miibos, right? Where you have these objects yeah. that you place on screen. So there's, there's, you'll see a comet approaching Earth, and I need to destroy the comet, but I cannot using this laser because there are asteroids yeah. that are stopping my beam. Yeah. But if this laser hits Earth, Earth will get destroyed. So I use these mirrors or reflectors to go uh, destroy. Okay, so the reason you can't change the placement of your original laser is that's the puzzle, that's the trick of uh, the game. And uh, you said that all these physical elements can amount to multiple different games. So if right. you buy, uh, let's say, even the small soldiers or the space station, there are multiple games that you can play exactly. which are going to help you work with this. Exactly. So once you have this game, yeah. there'll be it's completely adaptive. So kids from 7, 8, even 11, 12 can play games that that can challenge them. You have enough reactions, you love making molecules, you have a basic chemistry to advanced. Okay. In this one, again, you are already seeing the levels are getting advanced. Now we have a bunch of uh, asteroids now. Yeah. Uh, and I need to destroy this comet. Uh, it's going to be really challenging because there's only one window, one small window I have. And you have to keep holding it there. Be to essentially ensure yeah, that you can... First I need to... I need to find this window and then go ahead and... Yeah. And it's almost there. Okay, and uh, the last one is actually something that has a more uh, physical element to it, right? Yeah. More physical interactivity. So this is Kluger, which is... You have a gamepad uh, and you can... Then you slot in your device and you can get kids to learn math, hmm. engineering, music, letters, which is about grammar, and then slingshot and steer. Hmm. Slingshot, I'm just demoing one of them. Slingshot is about uh, shooting accuracy. It's about logical thinking. Here you are helping the elephants. So you essentially have to break yeah. uh, the obstruction to get them water. Yeah. Okay. So this essentially, if you look at it from one perspective, uh, the space shooter game teaches you about angles. Uh, this one teaches you a little bit about trajectory. So there is a little bit of learning element to yeah. each of the games that you have, so right? All the games are have won multiple awards right from the Parenting Seal of Approval to from Purdue University to Mom's Choice Award, Design Thinking Awards. So they have been recognized in the global platform. Uh, 
and you guys are present in india as well right yeah, absolutely yeah. so could you just highlight a little bit of the pricing of, of these products so the pricing is uh, is around 50 dollars each Okay. In India, you could find it around close to three thousand rupees out there on Amazon or many other places. Okay, and the app is compatible on iOS and iOS Android. Android. So even if I have an Android phone, uh, I'm just investing in the hardware, which is the uh, globe or the pads or. or uh, and, and, and we keep updating our apps regularly, so you keep enjoying new content, new games, yeah. new interactions. All right, that's great. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you so much for watching this, guys. And for more from the world of technology, you can stay tuned to Digit.in.